stellar power with approximately 85% confidence. 85% is a huge jump from other inconclusive results. However, the current spectral band needs to be 103 times narrower just to detect the current level of artificial illumination on Earth. The discussion essentially suggests that Proxima B's permanent day and night side could possibly be illuminated by employing the use of strategic mirrors. This clever technique might potentially increase the detectability of artificial lights. The paper then concluded by proposing future extensions of the work. Although the future is uncertain, utilizing future telescopes like Eleuvoir could be groundbreaking for improved detection capabilities. James Webb deciphers Proxima B's atmosphere. One must wonder just how we are performing such complex calculations. Thousands of years ago, reaching the moon seemed like a fever dream. Yet now, we are speculating, calculating, and analyzing planets light years away, and that too correctly and with accuracy. Well, one of the highest symbols of human advancements is our instruments, especially the most powerful telescope we have, the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is poised to revolutionize our understanding of exoplanetary atmospheres and environments. Yes, that also includes that of Proxima b. These ambitious plans are aimed to be carried out through its advanced observational capabilities. One of the key instruments on board the JWST is the Near Infrared Spectrograph and IR Spec. It plays a central role in identifying, categorizing, and ultimately understanding exoplanetary atmospheres. That is possible due to its high sensitivity and spectral resolution. NIR Spec also enables astronomers to dissect the light from distant exoplanets like separating two strands of hair. This makes it easier to reveal signatures of key atmospheric components such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and other molecules. And you know how the saying goes, where there is water, there is life, almost all the time. The characters of Interstellar might disagree on this one. After facing the huge waves of the water planet, it is like we have a magic wand in our hands, waving away and performing things that might seem like magic to the past generations. So normally, this detailed spectroscopic analysis provided absolutely vital clues about the atmospheric conditions and potential habitability of exoplanets like Proxima b. Moreover, the JWST's mid-infrared instrument MIRI is like another arsenal of skills equipped for humans. It offers complementary capabilities for studying exoplanetary atmospheres. MIRI's imaging and spectroscopic modes extend into the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. This allows astronomers to probe thermal emissions from exoplanets and investigate their temperature profiles, cloud formations, and atmospheric dynamics. These experiments can be the key to taking us one step closer to understanding and thereby conquering the universe. So by combining data from NIR Spec and MIRI, astronomers gain a comprehensive understanding of Proxima B's atmospheric structure and composition. Furthermore, the JWST's unrivaled sensitivity and observational capabilities enable astronomers to detect and study faint signals from Proxima B even though that is difficult in the presence of its bright host star, Proxima Centauri. Our technology like JWST makes it possible for us to bypass such a restriction. The James Webb Space Telescope has quite a large aperture that, coupled with the state-of-the-art detectors of the telescope, just gives it the edge we need. As a result of this, the JWST can easily capture subtle variations in the light emitted or reflected by the exoplanet. Although these variations might seem small and negligible, these are the exact keys we need that provide insights into Proxima B's surface properties, climate, and potential signs of geological or atmospheric activity. In addition to atmospheric studies, the JWST is poised to investigate other aspects of Proxima B's environment such as its orbital dynamics, surface features, and potential interactions with its host star. Using this technology has allowed us to really assess Proxima's habitability. According to a 2018 research paper, The Habitability of Proxima Centauri b, the most vital thing to come out of this research was that Proxima b's luminosity is the biggest concerning factor in terms of its environment. 
The research explains that the biggest threat that might render the exoplanet uninhabitable is the luminosity evolution of its M-dwarf host. M-dwarf stars are lower mass, and that means they can undergo extended pre-main sequence phases that last up to a billion years. During this phase, they are extremely luminous, more luminous than they will be once they settle into the main sequence. This superluminous pre-main sequence phase that was revealed now poses a significant challenge to the terrestrial planets forming within the future habitable zone. Wonder why? Well, the high levels of radiation emitted during this phase can vaporize and photolyze oceans almost instantly. It's like being zapped in a second, and you are gone. Moreover, it can strip lighter elements from the atmosphere of these forming planets. Simulations performed by these astronomers suggest that Proxima Centauri b would have had to wait as long as 169 million years after its formation for it to be safe. This information now makes the habitability of Proxima b extremely dubious. Exoplanet exploration, post-James Webb era, space signals, artificial lights, and super planets aside, the world of space exploration is that of a dark, uncertain but exciting one. Not only that, with rapid development moving the space research and development industry forward at the speed of light, it might not be too long before normal, average humans are walking easily on the moon. For example, NASA and other private companies already have their sights set on the moon. NASA's ambitious but interesting Artemis program, which has a goal of landing humans on the moon in 2025, aims to begin building a base camp. This dream of having a long-term human presence on the lunar surface is courageous for sure, but it is necessary in a way. These ambitious plans will help NASA prepare for human space exploration missions of even greater distance and duration. Who knows, it might also include an eventual crewed flight to Mars. Elon Musk certainly seems to think so, as his fascination with landing and assimilating man on Mars seems to be unstoppable. SpaceX, Elon Musk's company, has even stated their ambition to colonize Mars, a very human thing to do, might that be added. They plan to do this through the Starship launch vehicle, even going as far as saying that a colony on Mars is necessary for humans to survive. Survival or not, humans have made one thing clear, nothing stands in the way of our evolution, not even space itself. The future holds some terrifying secrets about space and just might revolutionize our understanding of it completely one day. What do you think? Are we on the brink of finding alien life forms? Be sure to let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. The discovery of the six primordial galaxies holds significant implications for our comprehension of the universe's infancy. Their immense mass suggests the possibility of their involvement in the formation of larger galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Additionally, these galaxies may hold vital clues about the enigmatic nature of dark matter, an elusive substance constituting approximately 85% of the universe. Let's talk about the shocker that comes next. On March 8, 2023, scientists were astonished again when the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, achieved a monumental scientific milestone by capturing the first image ever recorded of a detached supermassive black hole. This awe-inspiring celestial phenomenon was observed in the Galaxy Cluster Max J0416.12403, situated approximately 9.5 billion light-years away from Earth, weighing in at a mind-boggling 10 billion times the mass of our Sun. This black hole exists where gravity's grip is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape its clutches. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, the collapse of a massive star creates a compact mass that warps the very fabric of space-time, giving rise to a black hole. The James Webb Space Telescope utilized its near-infrared camera, NIR cam, to capture this groundbreaking image. As one of the JWST's primary instruments, NIR cam is designed to detect infrared light. The presence of the supermassive black hole was detected through its gravitational lensing effect, as the phenomenon's gravitational pull bends and distorts the light passing near it. The significance of this discovery lies in the fact that the supermassive black hole was observed without a host galaxy, making it a first in scientific exploration. This suggests the existence of countless other detached supermassive black holes scattered throughout the universe, 
surpassing previous estimations. This breakthrough has profound implications for our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution and the role black holes play in shaping the cosmos. There is more. In the wake of this discovery was another shocking revelation for scientists that also seems to go against the previous knowledge available about black holes. It was discovered that instead of this black hole consuming everything in its path and leaving it at that, it also created new stars in great numbers. This it did at a rapid pace, astounding scientists. The discovery was reported by a team of Yale's astronomers led by Professor Peter V. Cam and the NASA Hubble Space Telescope confirmed this observation. As experts explain, star creation happens when the black hole comes in contact with gas and cools it down, causing it to leave a wake of baby stars on its trail. The momentous nature of this achievement was recognized by prominent figures in the scientific community. Bill Nelson, the administrator of NASA, described it as a historic moment, revealing the universe in an unprecedented manner. Let's talk about the extraordinary image of the galactic merger. In a stunning display of cosmic beauty, the James Webb Space Telescope moves on to capture an extraordinary image of the galactic merger known as ARP-220. Unveiled to the world on April 27, 2023, this captivating image depicts the convergence of two spiral galaxies locked in a celestial dance. The collision between these galaxies ignited a magnificent burst of starbirth, enveloping the galaxies in a mesmerizing haze of hot gas and dust. This galactic merger is the brightest of the three galactic mergers closest to Earth. ARP-220, nestled in the constellation of Serpens, resides an awe-inspiring 250 million light-years away from our vantage point. What sets it apart is its classification as an ultraluminous infrared galaxy, ULERG, characterized by its predominant emission of light in the infrared spectrum. This uniqueness is due to the galaxy's extraordinary activity fueled by an intense star formation rate. The collision of the two galaxies has acted as a cosmic catalyst, instigating the birth of new stars at an astonishing rate, surpassing the star formation rate in our own Milky Way by a significant margin. These newborn stars are immense, lead brilliant and fleeting lives, culminating in magnificent supernova explosions that unleash an immense release of energy. This energy imbues the surrounding gas and dust with a fiery luminescence, causing it to radiate in the infrared spectrum. What makes the JWST's image of ARP-220 truly extraordinary is its ability to pierce through the veils of obscuring dust and gas that shroud the galaxy in visible light. Leveraging its infrared vision, the telescope delves into the heart of this galactic merger, presenting us with unprecedented detail. The image reveals the mesmerizing cores of the merging galaxies, encircled by rotating rings of gas and dust where the celestial forge continues to shape new stars. Stretching outwards from the galaxy's peripheries are tidal tails, ethereal streams of gas and dust tugged away by the relentless grip of gravity. The triumph of the JWST's imaging capabilities represents far more than a remarkable achievement. Indeed, it's a gateway to unlocking the secrets of violent and tumultuous galactic mergers with its infrared prowess. The image was captured using the NIR cam and MIRI instruments aboard the JWST, enabling an awe-inspiring resolution. The image showcases details with tenfold precision compared to the diameter of the moon. The image required extensive exposure to collect the wealth of cosmic data. A staggering total of stars graced the image, unveiling a tapestry of celestial marvels. This unprecedented image is the most intricate and detailed portrait of ARP-220 ever captured. And just when we thought we'd seen it all, on June 2, 2023, NASA tweeted that the James Webb Space Telescope had detected a galaxy cluster with a redshift of 7.9. This means the cluster is located about 650 million years after the Big Bang. The cluster, which is called Max J0416.1-2403, is made up of seven galaxies. JWST's near-infrared spectrograph, NIR spec, instrument was used to precisely measure the distances to the galaxies and determine that they are part of a cluster. This is the first time a proto-cluster of galaxies has been confirmed at such an early stage in the universe. The discovery is important because it provides new insights into how galaxies formed and evolved in the early universe. According to the tweet, 
The James Webb Space Telescope has confirmed for the first time a protocluster of seven galaxies at a distance astronomers call Redshift 7.9, or a mere 650 million years after the Big Bang. This is the earliest galaxy protocluster yet to be spectroscopically confirmed, and it provides new insights into how galaxies formed and evolved in the early universe. Again, the discovery was made possible by the NIR spec instrument on the James Webb Space Telescope, which can precisely measure the distances to galaxies. The tweet was met with excitement from astronomers and the public alike. The discovery is a major milestone for the JWST and a testament to the power of this new telescope. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching till the end. What do you think about the achievements of the James Webb Telescope? Do well to share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to like it, share it, and subscribe for more of its kind.